good everyone welcome to my channel we've got this laptop here Acer Aspira 3 I did a video earlier on on the dead motherboard like I said I was having like six of this board that needs to be repaired so one of this board it has no display so I felt there's a need for me to make a video on this laptop okay let's go through together the laptop has no display okay there's a charger connected charger connected as you can see the orange orange light is charging you see that it's charging okay let's power on powered on the green light is on it's charge is uh yeah, it's charging with one amp, but we have no display. We have no display. We have no display. Okay, we have no display. <coughs> Let's check for some voltage quickly. Negative protogram. That's the the three point three. Can you see that? The 3.3 .3 is present on the board. The 5 volts. This supposed the 5 volts. Where is 5 volts? This is supposed to be the 5 volts. Where is the 5 volts? 5 volts. 5 volts. 5 volts. Oh, there you go. There's the 5 volts. Then the RAM session 1.2. Okay. I think this core is for the CPU. Okay. But the value is not so good. Okay. 3.3 is there. 5 volts is there. 1.2, the RAM session volts, it's there. So there's no display. The laptop is charging, it's working. But we have no display. Can you see that? There's no display on the screen. Okay. So what I will do now, I will program the the chip. You see this April chip here? I'll program that. I'll program it with a, a claiming region. Okay, the board number, you can see that the board number is NB8609 PCB V6. We have V4, there's V4, there's V5, there's V6. So when you are getting your file, Make sure it's V6. Don't use another file to program this board. When you are programming that chip, be sure you are using the correct file. Okay? Let's take out the, the chip. I just hope this will be quick. I've done one already. Like I said to you, I've got six of them to fix. This is the second one now. Okay. Okay. That's the fire. The what's it called? The chip there. Let's grab our multimeter. Sorry, our programmer.
on my other video i've got a comment someone is asking me how to extract the file the bios file if you want to unlock a if you want to unlock a password it's very simple if you are a technician you should know how to do that i see no reason making video concerning that to know how to extract a file you know okay let's quickly program this chip okay that means the chip is not sitting properly that means the IC is not sitting properly let's try again okay 1.8 okay we must put adapter now the 1.8 adapter we need the 1.8 adapter we need the 1.8 adapter you get it you get yourself a programmer and it will be easy for you to extract file because I see no point asking someone how can you get the uh, how can you extract the file knowing fully you need to get yourself a programmer you know there are cheaper ones in the market that you can use okay let's first of all read the file the old file I'm just gonna make a backup of the old one so that I'll have a backup just in case okay just in case I hope this video to be quick and uh, unfortunately I haven't got the edit software to edit or to make it fast then thereafter i will edit the video i don't have any software to do that so i'm just giving you as it is no editing nothing okay there's nothing to hide i'm not hiding anything okay there you go Success. Let's save the backup. I'm just gonna save it on desktop. NB is it NB? What is the board name now? The board number is MB. Yeah. NB. Eight six zero nine underscore PC b underscore m b underscore v six backup file no display backup file no display okay we've got that sorted we've got that sorted okay let's get our new file now I've already got a file already I don't need to download any file I've got files already which I'm using okay where is my file I actually have two or three but I need to be sure the one that is working and I don't want to do this video twice okay uh, should we try this or this? Let's try this. Let's try this. Okay. Program. Okay. Let's try that file. Let's try that one. Okay. 
in the meantime while it's busy doing that I just wanna clean the the track while our programming is busy and if you are watching this video now you haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe please kindly subscribe for more repair videos like this kindly subscribe for more repair videos like this okay Okay, I think our track is good now. Let's check how far is our programming. Okay, it's verifying the programming now. Uh, the file is not that big, 8 MB. At least it would be quicker if it was 60 MB that's when we have a problem but on this it will be quicker okay getting there we are getting there remember I still have four more to fix this is the second one I still have four more of this board same board different problem same board different problem and it's coming from one technician okay this is the second one which I'm fixing huh? the first one is already done already I'm busy with the second one so once this is done then i'll go to the next one okay few minutes to go few minutes to go there you go that's done you see let's put back our chip let's put back our oh sorry let me switch the camera sorry let's put back our chip Okay, I guess the chip is sitting properly. I guess it's sitting properly.
okay let's clean it a little bit let's zoom back okay let's test together and see if our problem is solved if not you have to use another file okay because like i said you have got two files but i'm not sure which of them i was using before okay so So if it's not working, you repeat the procedure with another file, okay? Okay, battery connected. That's the last thing to connect, eh? the battery. Okay, battery connected. Let's test now. I think uh, it's still a bit hot, it's a bit hot. Okay, let's test. Yes, the charger, charger connected is charging. Let's try to power on. Powered on. My laptop is on. See that? Red light. The orange light. The green light is on. okay i think we, we are getting progress it's restarting now it's trying to recognize the new file which we just programmed it's trying to recognize the new file which we just programmed just watch so we are waiting for display now the third time now this is the third time watch restarting the third time restarting there you go we've got a display okay so that means i use the right file okay that was a success okay that was the success okay i think uh, i will stop this video now like i say i've got more to do uh if there be any need for me to do videos on those ones if it's there if they have different problem I'll definitely do a video on them but if they have the similar problem i don't think there's any need to make a video on them okay so thank you for watching please like and subscribe give it a thumbs up leave a good comment i will definitely see you on the next video okay stay well bye bye peace out